Determine the limit of the sequence defined by the formula of a sub n equals 1 plus a negative 2 over 3n squared all raised to the 3n squared. So this limit, as n gets large, this denominator gets large while the numerator stays constant. And so this part is all going to go to 0. And we have this 1 here. And the exponent is going to get very large as n gets large. So we're of the form 1 to the infinity. This is an indeterminate form. Where it could be 1, it could be 0, it could be any number, it could be infinite. And so we can't quite use L'Hopital's rule yet. What we need to do is to be able to transform this into a form that we can use L'Hopital's rule on. And here are the steps. The first thing you need to do is just let some variable stand for the limit. So we use y. Here's why you need to do that. The 3n squared that's in an exponent must come down. In order to do that, we have to introduce a natural log. And so we're going to take the natural log of both sides. The log of y is equal to the log of that limit. And what we can do is interchange the natural log and the limit. And so we're talking about the limit of the log. And now we can employ the property of logs. The, the whole reason why we started this process was to in order to take this exponent and bring it down in front. The natural log of a to the p is p times the natural log of a. And that's what we're looking at. We're going to bring the exponent down. Have 3 n squared times the natural log of 1 plus a negative 2 over 3 n squared. Now, we have the form where we have a product where one part's going to infinity and the other part is going to 0. The natural log of 1 is 0. And so 0 times infinity is the new form that we're looking at, which is still an indeterminate form. But it's one that's rather close to being able to be done with L'Hopital's rule. What we need to do is create a, fr a fraction. L'Hopital's rule deals with infinity over infinity or 0 over 0. And so we divide by the reciprocal of one of the terms to create a fraction. And so we'll take the 3 n squared that we dr drag down and we'll put in the denominator as 1 over 3 n squared. Instead of multiplying by 3n squared, we'll divide by 1 over 3n squared. Still have the same thing. But now what's going to happen is the natural log of 1 plus a negative 2 over 3n squared is still going to go to 0. And then we also have 1 over 3n squared going to 0. So we have to form 0 over 0 which is finally in an indeterminate form where we can use L'Hopital's rule. We have to take the numerator der derivative, we're going to have to take the denominator derivative, and trade our limit in for the limit of um, those guys divided. And so we'll do that on the next slide. We're going to use L'Hopital's rule. Let's take the numerator and deal with its derivative. Let's call it f. So what is the natural log of 1 plus negative 2 over 3 n squared derivative? The natural log of any function has 1 over that function as its derivative. But then the chain rule says, well, if that function is more than just the variable itself, then we must then do the chain rule and multiply by the derivative of the inside function. This inside function, uh, let's call it uh, 1 plus 8. So they have this 1 plus uh, negative 2 over 3n squared, we can just focus on the negative 2 over 3n squared and take the derivative of it. We can just do the power rule on it, bring the negative 2 down, and then take away 1 from the exponent and leave us with negative 3 as the new exponent. 
multiplying the negative two-thirds that was already there with the negative two gives us four-thirds times one over n cubed or four over three n cubed is the derivative of the inside function and so that finishes off the numerator's derivative. Now let's deal with the denominator's derivative. It's just one over three n squared and once again we can bring that n squared up as an n to the negative two power and just do the power rule on it where we bring the negative two down and we decrease the exponent by one to give us negative three as the new exponent and the coefficient is going to be negative two-thirds. We can bring that n cubed back down and now we have the denominator's derivative. And L'Hopital's rule says you can trade in your limit for the derivative of the numerator divided by the, the derivative of the denominator, uh, that limit instead. Now remember, this isn't our answer to the question. This is what the, um, the natural log of y is. So now let's consider what happens as n gets large. Well, let's simplify. What happens if we multiply everything by 3n cubed? So if I times by 3n cubed, it would cancel these 3n cubes. Okay, and then I would have something like a 4 over 1 plus that negative 2 over 3 n squared. All of this would just be divided by a negative 2. I can kind of put that negative 2 down here. And then I can cancel that negative 2 with this 4 and leave me with a negative 2 in the numerator. Now I need to consider the limit as n gets big and we'd have this term negative 2 over 3n squared going off to 0. So this limit is negative 2. It's not the answer to our question. The answer to our question is y and what we have is the natural log of y is equal to negative 2. And so we raise both sides as exponents on E, and then we can cancel to get what Y is. Our answer, Y, the original limit, is E to the negative 2. Okay.